You know it is going to be a good day when you get home and you see an attic custom drums box on your doorstep. Eric and Loretta and myself got connected through YouTube, which kind of sounds really strange when you say it out loud, but let me explain. You see, Eric and Loretta started their channel roughly around the same time that I did, and because of that beginning stages of creating content, the algorithm hadn't triggered yet. Well, after putting out so much content, the algorithm triggered and eventually linked us together through some content that was relatively similar. Now the cool thing is, is Eric, he does some really cool stuff drum-wise, cross-platforms. You see, my focus and my focal is, you know, worship, and Eric does a little bit of, well, everything. So what happened is, because our content started getting similar in certain areas, it linked us. And now fast forward to where we are today, Eric and I decided to do a different type of collaboration, more of a drum build collaboration. So Eric built this drum and said, I want you to let me know what your thoughts are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this bad boy up and see what he sent us. Oh dang. Oh, dude, that's sick. It's got some good packaging in here. It looks like it hardly moved. A good amount of bubble wrap surrounding it. card in here I think <laughs> this is cool <laughs> whoa okay uh, let me open this up that's pretty sick so a little lesser known fact about me and Eric well more me um, I am a big old nerd when it comes time for like superheroes. Um, I love like the Marvel movies, but my all time favorite superhero is Batman. And it looks like, that's so cool. <laughs> it looks like he made a Batman themed snare drum. Dude, that is rad, oh man. That's so cool. Okay, yeah. Got some 30 strands on there. Bro, this is sick. Well, you guys know the drill. Let's get this on the kit. Oh wait, hang on. We have to we have to open this up. Oh, that's cool. Got some magnets, got a business card. We gotta thank you for purchasing your one-of-a-kind snare drum from Attic Custom Drums. That's pretty cool. All right, now let's get it on the kit.
When it comes time for gear reviews, I always try to come at it from a worship drummer's perspective. I like to ask questions like, how will this gear help? What need does this piece of equipment fill? Can this piece of gear better a drummer or a worship team or a worship pastor slash music director or can this better a church? Obviously a lot of important questions to ask oneself when doing a review. So let's address an important personal question so that we can answer the remaining questions that were previously stated. Can I myself give a non-biased opinion on a piece of gear that was made for me by a good friend? The short answer is this, yes. I love Eric and Loretta and because of the relationship that we have, we can be pretty brutally honest with each other. And not in a bad way, this is actually really good. You see, as friends and as a business, I want them to thrive. So all feedback that I give them on both sides of the spectrum is wanted so that they can better themselves. So let's start looking at the drum itself. So this snare drum, this is a 14 by five inch maple snare drum, which is a 10 ply with eight lugs, a comic book finish and Evans heads with pure sound 30 strand. Right off the bat, this drum is ready to go straight out of the box. No need to change anything, so cosmetically, it is ready to go. But what about tone? With the worship drummer in mind, I tuned this snare drum to three tunings that I felt most worship drummers tend to reside tune-wise. I'm not sure where you personally fall into this, but these are just some basic high, medium, and low tunings that I went with to see what this drum could handle. To my surprise, this snare responded really well to the three different tunings. I figured that with the five inch depth, that this snare would respond better to the higher tunings, which you know would sit better with the drum, but no, all three tunings sat really well with this drum. I will say though, I personally liked the mid-tone and the higher tone just a little bit better than the low tones, which again, surprises me because, well, I like those lower fat tones. What is happening to me? The only critique that I have with this drum, which is super tiny, I mean, super tiny, is I wish that this was a 10 lug drum. Now, I know I am nitpicking. I, I, I know I am. I feel like the 10 lugs could possibly help this drum be a little more precise on tuning. Then again, who knows? Maybe a 10 lug drum might be a fun project in the future. Hear that, Eric? Overall, I feel that this drum build collaboration came out killer, and this is definitely a killer drum to add to the studio. If you know of a drummer or a church or a ministry that is looking to upgrade, or if you are in the market for something different, I will leave links in the description so that you can reach out to Attic Custom Drums to get a quote for a drum as unique and as individual as you are. As always guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, check out all the links in the description to help support this channel. And uh, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Eric and Loretta, you guys are awesome. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cool.